If you're struggling with period cramps right now, I'm about to share with you the top five ways to help relieve your pain and end your suffering. Then if you want to know how to prevent period pain from returning next month and all of the months after that without using painkillers or birth control, I'll be sharing exactly how you can do this at the end of this video. So stay tuned until the end as these tips have helped not only myself, but thousands of people within my Moonbox community experience healthy, pain-free, comfortable periods. Implement these tips and you'll relieve period pain too. Now, before I share these five tips, I want you to know that period pain may be common, but despite what you've been told, it is not normal and it is not an inevitable part of having a period. Too often, doctors dismiss menstrual pain and too quickly prescribe hormonal birth control as a fix which, side note, it is not. Too often, females are said to be overreacting and said to put up with it. But I am here to tell you that it's not in your head, you're not overreacting, and you are not alone in this. And there are ways in which you can support your body through simple changes in your diet and lifestyle to relieve period pain naturally and for good, which is super duper exciting because you have so much more control over how you can experience your period than you've ever been taught. So without further ado, let's jump into these top five tips on how to naturally reduce period pain. And side note, these strategies will also help relieve your period back pain too. Now, the first tip on how to relieve period pain instantly is to consume ginger. Now, this just isn't any old period hack. This one is backed by science. Studies have shown that consuming one-eighth of a teaspoon of ginger powder three times per day during the first three to four days of your period helps to reduce period pain and is shown as effective as ibuprofen and other anti-inflammatory medication. Studies also show that ginger benefits PMS, moods, nausea, bloating, and headaches plus when consumed regularly for three months can result in reduced heavy bleeding. Ginger is awesome. Top ways to consume ginger to relieve period pain naturally are, firstly, drink ginger tea. You could add ginger powder to hot water, or you could buy a fresh root of ginger, cut it all up into thin slices, steep it in boiling water for 15 minutes, then drink this tea three times a day during the first three to four days of your period. If you find it too bitter, you can add a little bit of honey or lemon to enjoy more. Now, the next way to consume ginger to help relieve period pain is to add fresh ginger root or ginger powder into a smoothie. You can add ginger, banana, mango, spinach, avocado, hemp seeds, blend it all up, and you have yourself a delicious cramp fighting smoothie. You can check out the recipe in the description box below. Another way to consume ginger is with this delicious superfood latte blend, which has been specifically developed for period pain and PMS. You not only have certified organic ginger, but other pain-fighting herbs such as turmeric, maca, shatavari, all of these powerful ingredients in this blend that make it an easy and delicious way to help prevent cramps and other symptoms of PMS. Moving on to the next tip to naturally ease menstrual cramps, and that is the magic period mineral, magnesium. If there was ever just one mineral I'd recommend for healthier menstrual cycles and fighting period pain, it would be magnesium. Now I get asked all of the time, does magnesium really work for period pain? And the answer is yes, my friend. Taken daily, magnesium may prevent dysmenorrhea, which is menstrual cramps, in some people as it works by relaxing the smooth muscle of the uterus and by reducing inflammatory prostaglandins that cause period pain. Now, magnesium is not only beneficial for period pain, but for PMS, stress, sleep, endometriosis, PCOS, migraines, period irregularities, and perimenopause. The list goes on. Now, in studies, magnesium has been found as effective in lessening menstrual pain better than placebo and may be helpful in limiting the need for pain medication. I've certainly found this. Thousands of our Moonbox community has certainly found this. So let me know in the comments if you have found that magnesium is helpful for your period pain too. 
Being deficient in magnesium is a recipe for killer menstrual cramps, PMSE mood swings, anxiety, and poor sleep. And guess what? Over 80% of us are deficient in magnesium, which is why it is super important to actively replenish this mineral on a daily basis throughout the entire month not just when you have your period. Why is magnesium deficiency so common? Now, there are a few factors at play which are due to not consuming enough magnesium-rich foods in our diets and over-consuming processed foods. Also, the soil our food grows in is depleted due to modern-day agricultural farming practices, and in turn, our food is depleted of minerals too. Stress also dumps magnesium. So if you're someone who experiences high levels of stress in your life, which let's be honest, a lot of us do, you need more magnesium as well. Also, overconsumption of alcohol, sugar, and caffeine can impair magnesium absorption and utilization. All in all, if you are a human being living in today's modern world, magnesium is going to benefit you. And when you're actively replenishing your magnesium levels, you will notice a huge difference, particularly in your sleep, moods, energy, and comfortable menstrual experience. Now, unfortunately, we just aren't getting enough magnesium through the food we eat. So whilst it's important to eat magnesium-rich foods daily, such as leafy greens, cashews, almonds, pumpkin seeds, avocado, and dark chocolate, it's also a great idea to increase your magnesium levels in other ways too. So three ways you can increase your magnesium levels to help reduce period pain are, firstly, you can take a supplement. Magnesium glycinate or citrate are the easiest forms of magnesium to absorb. A therapeutic dose of magnesium is at least 300 milligrams daily, but always talk to your practitioner about the right supplement and dose for you. Another safe and effective way to boost magnesium levels is to use a high quality magnesium oil. This is particularly effective if you have cramps right now. You can just spray magnesium oil onto your belly, rub it in. Magnesium oil is my personal favorite way to easily boost my magnesium levels and help to prevent cramps. Plus, if you're someone like me and you do not like swallowing tablets, this is a great option. So if you want to try a magnesium oil, I recommend Moon Boost 100% Pure Magnesium Chloride Oil, which I've linked in my favorite period product section below. Another way to increase magnesium to help beat period pain is by enjoying a warm magnesium salt bath. So you've got two options here. Epsom salts, which you've probably heard of, or magnesium chloride flakes. Magnesium chloride flakes are my personal favorite because they absorb more easily into the body and are more highly concentrated bioavailable magnesium compared to Epsom salts. They have been shown to provide more concentrated bioavailable magnesium into the body, which then creates more intense and long lasting effects, which if you have cramps right now, you're going to want the strongest salt in your bath, right? So you can buy a bucket of magnesium flakes or Epsom salts in bulk. So you've always got some on hand for when you're on your period. If you're someone who does not have a bathtub, you can put your feet into a bucket of warm water with the salts in it, and it will provide benefits in relieving your cramps too, by boosting your magnesium levels. The thing with magnesium is that If you're in pain right now, yes, it can provide relief for you. However, magnesium best works when it builds up in your body over time. So consistently replenishing magnesium every day of the month is where the real pain prevention and improvements in your mood, your sleep, migraines and stress are going to take place. It really is a life-changing mineral. Now, before I move on to the next tip, if you want to learn more about how to relieve period pain, along with other symptoms of PMS, such as mood swings, bloating, and low energy, make sure to click the link in my description box and the comment section below, because you'll want to check out my epic mini course called The Better Period Method, which covers how you can fix your periods naturally and for good. I walk you through how to balance your hormones so you can say goodbye to those dreaded period symptoms that hold you back from living your best life. Again, make sure you click the link in my description box and the comment section below. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's move on to the next tip on how to relieve period cramps without medication, and that is to limit your coffee intake. 
And I know it's painful to hear that, but if you're watching this video, drinking coffee, and you have period pain right now, I see you, I know who you are, put down that cup of coffee. I'm just kidding, but seriously. Caffeine is a vasoconstrictor, meaning it narrows blood vessels, including the ones that reach your uterus. So less blood and oxygen can flow through them, which can cause the worsening of period pain. Now, I don't believe in demonizing any one food or drink, nor do I believe in a one-size-fits-all approach for every person. So please note, I said limit coffee. You don't have to quit coffee forever because the truth is everyone responds differently to caffeine. So it's really about discovering, is caffeine a friend or foe to you? If you are a daily consumer who experiences period pain, I invite you to start by just experimenting with avoiding coffee in the week before and during your period. It's during the luteal and menstrual phases of your cycle that coffee has the potential to worsen cramps, breast soreness, headaches, anxiety, mood swings, it can interfere with sleep and overstimulate the digestive tract, which worsens bloating and makes period poops even more problematic. And yes, I said period poops, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Trial this over a few menstrual cycles and see if you notice a difference. Now, for me personally, this was an absolute game changer in preventing period pain and PMS, so much so that I personally don't drink coffee anymore because I know how good I feel without it. It's just one of the reasons I developed my Moonbox Superfood Latte range, which are delicious coffee alternatives, but specifically developed for healthier menstrual cycles. So they're also an option if you need an energizing coffee alternative. Let me know in the comments if you have noticed if coffee impacts your period pain or PMS, or perhaps you've never even thought about it and you're going to trial the elimination as an experiment. If that's you, get back to me. Let me know how you go. I'll be waiting for an update. Now, if you're on your period right now or you're in your premenstrual phase, instead of coffee, try drinking alternatives like raspberry leaf tea or a turmeric or cacao latte. The next tip to help effectively reduce cramps without medication is to exercise. Now hear me out on this one. I personally do not exercise whilst I'm on my period. A walk to a hot bath is good enough for me. Menstruation for me personally is a time for resting and I always listen to my body first and I invite you to do the same. However, I make sure to exercise regularly on the days outside of my period to help prevent period pain from coming in the first place. Exercising four times a week for at least 60 minutes has shown to reduce the use of painkillers for period pain in some women. But if you're on your period right now, in pain, low intensity, low impact exercise, such as walking, Yoga, stretching may help relieve the intensity of your pain as it works to increase blood flow to the abdomen. If you'd like me to do a video on yoga poses for period pain relief, comment yoga so I know. Moving on to the next tip to help prevent period pain right now, and it is to hydrate. Yes, this one seems so simple, but it can really make such a difference. Whilst hydration is essential for optimal health and hormonal balance every day of the month, it's especially critical during your period to help with bloating and cramping. So if you're dehydrated, it's going to make these symptoms worse. If you're watching this right now, trying to think, when was the last time you had that glass of water today? I'm talking to you. Go and get a glass of water now and aim to drink two liters of water minimum. One of my favorite ways to stay hydrated is to carry around a water bottle and fill in the gaps by drinking hot tea, specifically the type of herbal teas that help to reduce period pain too. Now, these teas are raspberry leaf, nettle leaf, and cramp bark. I personally consume these teas specifically in the week before and throughout my period, and they have helped myself and thousands of women within my community drastically reduce their dependence on painkillers. I have linked these tea recommendations below for you to check out as well. By the way, if you're enjoying these tips so far and you want more videos like this, hit the like button so I know. And don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how to eliminate your cramps forever. Now, when it comes to period pain, there is a reason for it. And the reason is not that's what just comes with having a uterus, okay? 
a healthy period arrives with minimal to no pain. Symptoms of PMS, like cramps, are your body's way of communicating to you that something isn't right and needs to be addressed. Your body is literally like, hello, pay attention to me, and this is your invitation to listen. Inflammation is at the core of period pain, but it's also important to understand that there are different types of period pain that can also be due to conditions such as adenomyosis, endometriosis, fibroids, cysts, and other conditions. So whilst people may be telling you to suck it up, it could also be something more serious that warrants investigation. Do not dismiss your own pain and certainly do not let your doctors dismiss you either. The next tip to help ease period cramps at home is to use heat. Using a heating pad, a heat patch, or a hot water bottle can significantly reduce pain by increasing blood flow and relaxing uterine muscle tension and spasms. Continuous, low-level topical heat therapy using a heat pad has shown in studies to be as effective as ibuprofen for the treatment of period pain. So the good old hot water bottle is a tried and true method for relieving pain. It's cheap, it's effective, it has no side effects. I don't experience period cramps anymore, but I still hold a hot water bottle on my womb during my period as it's so warming and supportive. Now, there is only so much you can do to relieve period pain right now in this moment, but there is so much you can do to take action to prevent period pain from returning next month and the months after that. Don't make the same mistake I did and stay stuck in a monthly cycle of period pain and suffering month after month. I wasted way too many years of my life thinking that I couldn't do anything about my pain, but you can and we've just never been taught how. The most powerful place to start when it comes to preventing period pain is to understand how to eat for healthier periods. Because the truth is, your daily food and lifestyle habits and the choices you make on the days outside of your period, as in every other day of the month, are what makes the biggest difference to how you experience your periods and the severity of symptoms. So you'll wanna watch my next video where I'll teach you how to eat for healthy, balanced hormones, revealing the main foods that cause period problems like period pain and PMS, and the foods that help to balance hormones and better your periods. I'll see you in the next video so you can experience the pain-free periods you deserve.